Hey everyone, it's Michael Dougal with eXp Realty and during this video you're going to get some tips on house hunting during this pandemic because things have really changed pre-pandemic. We're all accustomed to is going out, looking at properties and then submitting an offer on the property which we like. Whereas now it's backwards, we're doing our due diligence, our homework up front, making sure that a property is right for the particular client's needs. And then once we know a property is a serious contender to buy, then we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it and maybe write up an offer. So during this video, you're gonna get some tips, but first I'm looking for business. If you know anyone looking to buy or sell here in the greater Toronto area, do call me as well. I'm looking for partner agents as I've recently switched brokerages to eXp where I'm a partner and owner. And let's get right into the video. So here in this video, I'm gonna share with you four tips that I think you may find very useful, whether you're a first-time buyer, a move-up buyer, even if you're downsizing. But if you are a first-time buyer that really needs information on how this whole process works, then before watching this video, go ahead and take a look at this video here where I've shared some tips for first-time buyers specifically. And let's get right into the points. Point number one would be to research the property to its entirety. So that would look like driving by the property, research the particular neighborhood, uh, just really based on what's relevant for you. It may be schools, it may be the parks, maybe the nearby amenities, things like shopping or restaurants. And then gather as much information that you can with respect to all the pictures. So check out the floor plan as a lot of listings do have floor plans these days. Look at the property on Google Maps. There's really neat tools on Google Maps. You can see what a property backs onto. You can see if it maybe backs onto a ravine, which is a value add generally speaking, or maybe it backs onto a train tracks. You can really have a good idea as far as what the property has to offer. Tip number two would be to read the whole MLS listing and go through it as well as the virtual tour with your agent. So what that looks like is instead of just scanning over a property, be sure to look at those details as a lot of times the devil is in the details. It may be something like to do with the AC or maybe a particular contract that the seller's involved with. Heck, we even meet some sellers who are only selling their property conditional on them leasing it back from the new purchaser, meaning the seller would want to stay there for a year or so. So you really never know unless you take a good look at the MLS. And a good real estate professional that is familiar with the greater Toronto area can guide you through that whole process. As far as touring the home virtually is concerned, most agents are doing video walkthroughs of all their listings. I have it on all my active listings now. I'll even include a link here where you can see a preview of a property I've listed on 53 Omag. So this really gives you a good idea as far as the whole layout, the floor plan, gives you an idea as far as how large the rooms are and such. So with the help of your agent, let's say if you're out of town and you still want to buy, um, ask your agent to go ahead and visit the property and look out for anything specific or any abnormalities. All right, tip number three would be to get a really good idea about prices, especially now in today's market, the majority of listings are selling above the asking price. So you wanna ask yourself, can you even afford this home? And the way you can ultimately get an answer to that is by asking your real estate professional, what will this property likely go for? If you do suspect that the price is too good to be true, because it's happening a lot of times that buyers are contacting me about a listing that is priced at $700,000 and the property sells at $850,000. So you really never know. Honestly, it's not quite fair. I would prefer sellers just price it at fair market value, although different pricing strategies can work depending on the circumstance. Quite honestly, this is the really important time when you need to speak to your agent and get all the information you can get because you may have access to listings which are on the market, but if you really wanna see those sold comparables, then speak to your agent and say, you know, for instance, Michael, send me sold listings in this particular part of town that are detached homes because we're very easily able to pull up such data and it's likely gonna be helpful for the consumer. Tip number four, would be to find the most qualified agent you can find and team up with them to help you with the buying process as that agent is going to be responsible for doing all the communication with the other agent to find out answers to your questions about a particular property. They're responsible for doing all the research when it comes to pricing, information about the listing. Find somebody that does have that advantage and find somebody that as well that you're most comfortable with. So I hope this information was helpful, guys. If you are considering buying or selling, of course, I'm looking for business, looking for people to help. Call me, my number is 416-671-5218. And if you're browsing and looking for listings, then do visit my website. We can set up a search for you at Toronto Real Estate Now 
now.com. It's no cost. And for all of my agent friends, I really appreciate your support. If you're not with eXp, I'm looking for agents to partner with. Do call me as well as there's lots of opportunity here. My number is 416 416- Six seven one five two one eight, and the way I'm going to end this video is with an insertion of another listing which I have on the market over at 106 Adrian Crescent, and I'll look forward to seeing you all next time. I'd like to introduce you to my newest listing. We're here at 106 Adrian Crescent in one of the best areas in Markham. This is a very rare opportunity: four generously sized bedrooms, four washrooms, and as well, the home has its own.